Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ, my lovely little YouTube family. Um, I have to bring this to you now because it confirms the last one I put up where I, the part that talked about many people uh, are, I will pass. And I said, that means die. Does it? A lot of people are dying. Remember me saying that? Okay. This one was given to Lynn Johnson. She received it on March 13th, but uh, put it in. Uh, it's, I don't know if she sent it to Dawn, who gets the, new, the letters I get, sends them out to people who subscribe, or if she, or if Dawn got it. Probably not from 444 Prophecy News. So I'm saying the source is Dawn, Dawn's newsletter. That's where where it is. And I'll put the whole thing in there so you can read the first two. But it's getting late. And um, it's not real long, but long enough. Make sure I have some water. I have hiccups. I would try not to hiccup. Sometimes it's disgustingly loud. But if I wait, I might forget. Events proceed. And that's emboldened with an exclamation mark. Uh, dated July 24th. Uh, but she says, word received March 13th, 2021. It says, events are upon you. The time of pain and anguish is here. Are you ready for all that will transpire? This is the time of my judgments to all of the countries of the world. All will be affected by them. Many who practice evil will be removed. Watch and see. Now, see, that's exactly what I was thinking when I saw the video. I don't know if someone sent it or I might have just saw it on BitChute or something when I was there. But anyway, not that I had to go there, but a lot of people were just putting everything up there. Which I was going to do, but then I just didn't want to leave YouTube because some people don't want to leave YouTube. So I'm putting up what I can. And I was did say I was not going to, but I changed my mind because I just... The people that do this, and I, I love y'all, I love you. This is my little church, like I said earlier. So let me get back to this. <sighs> Many who practice evil will be removed. Watch and see how they fall. I am removing those who will not repent of their wicked ways. Pause, and that includes their idol worship over there in China. They have, they, there, there are some awesome, on fire Christians. And those Holy Spirit filled Christians, but there's a lot of 144K over there. And you know they're being protected. Okay. All right. He said, um, who will not repent of their wicked ways. And this is all caps, this sentence. Who have caused many wrongs to be inflicted upon the people. I am has had enough of their continual wickedness. Praise God. Hallelujah. This is a time of cleansing as I begin to clean out those who practice evil. Many who have followed evil will begin to realize that there are consequences to their actions. They will be fully recompensed for their actions against my people. These judgments will begin to awaken those who continue to slumber. Is it any wonder all the flooding in Germany... And now, uh, let's see, we had it in India. Now it's in um, China. 
Now, India is another one full of false gods, but they have a lot of converts, too. I know, because Joyce Meyer was going over there. Regardless of what you think of her now, she was converting a whole lot of millions of people over there. They would walk for hours to go watch her preach with an interpreter, of course. It's been years ago since I've seen that, but um, she went over there and there a lot of people got saved and born again, gave their lives to Jesus. Anyway, um, where was I? But as a rule, as a whole, those nations are in big trouble. And Germany, look at the Holocaust. And do you realize, everybody talks about the Holocaust, about the six million Jews that were slaughtered, gassed, experimented on, hung, shot, shoveled into ditches. Well, 10 million Christians were too. Nobody talks about that. All right, let me find my place. This is a time of cleansing as I begin to clean out those who practice evil. Many who have followed evil will begin to realize that there are consequences to their actions. Oh, I think I read that already. Let's see. They, they will be fully recompensed for their actions against my people. The, and he means Christians as well as, I guess, fathers, orthodox, those who love him, true Hebrew people. These judgments will begin to awaken those who continue to slumber, who will not begin to realize the time they are living in. It will be a time of soul searching and of repentance for some as they awaken. Some will still not accept truth and they will be lost. There will be no excuse for those who do not receive the truth as it is there for all to see. The opportunity to accept truth for many is available and there are many who will come to understand this as my judgments will continue to fall my word will be fulfilled as written be prepared my children for events to proceed swiftly now that's what the other message said the events to proceed swiftly now as the end of this age approaches. Many things will happen, one right after another. That's what the other message said. It will be bewildering to many, to those just awakening. Time will also accelerate it's almost unbelievably so similar. It's like blowing my mind. Time will also accelerate in order for these events to come about. This age must come to a conclusion, my children, so that my kingdom of glory can be brought in. There is no going back as my judgments are set and cannot be altered. Evil will be removed. Remember that this time is not my great wrath. Wait a second. Remember that this time, I guess the time we're living in right now is not my great wrath. It's like you ain't seen nothing yet. You, my beloved children, are not here for that. I have told you repeatedly and I do not make mistakes. I knew it. I knew it. That's why this war stuff, it doesn't bother me. We are not dying until we're out of here. We're not dying. 
we're getting taken out of here. And I hope we get to come back, get everybody else ready, and they get to go too. But war is the second seal. My children are not appointed to my great wrath, which will come upon the whole earth to cleanse it completely of those who practice evil continuously. Be prepared, my children, to see. See, that's why I'm saying, I think, like, all, all the earth burning and all that, that's going to be after the multitude too large to number appears in heaven. Because if you read it, even if there's a, a war, it's not going to burn up everything like people think. The war could be going on right now. It could be a spiritual war. I'm just saying that. It's a possibility. Be prepared, my children, to see many things that will sadden you. You, however, will understand as you see those who are evil fall. Many will be surprised as they believe themselves to be untouchable. No one is beyond my reach. I see all. Nothing is hidden from me. Be prepared, my beloved children, as events proceed. I am is in control and I will accomplish all that needs to be done in order for this age to end. My kingdom of glory will soon be here. Wait for it, for it comes. The kingdom of glory will be after the all the tribulation when Jesus sets his feet on the ground, kills uh, those, uh, the false prophet and the Antichrist into the lake fire. Satan is bound for a thousand years. All their soldiers will be killed, probably thrown into the lake fire with them, I imagine. Not sure, it doesn't say explicitly. If I'm wrong, someone find the scripture for me on that. But I don't, I don't believe it says. Uh, but they die. They're, I think they're all burned up. But their souls probably go to hell until the great white throne judgment. Because they're human. If they're human. Now if they're Nephilim, they might just go in the lake of fire too. There's a lot took out of the Bible. Y'all, there really has been a lot. And a lot of it is not perfectly transcribed. You really got to learn how to get into that strong concordance. Greek, any a Greek concordance for the New Testament, Hebrew for the Old, the, the original Aramaic to English is great. That's probably the best source you could get. And you can find it online. Just search for it. All right, I'm sorry. I probably shouldn't throw stuff in but I, I just it just comes out I can't help it all right my kingdom of glory will soon be here wait for it for it comes that's right I was clarifying that in case anybody got confused about that because that's really seven even if it's a full seven years which I don't think it is I think we're already well into the tribulation and then halfway it's the great tribulation. But that's just the way I understand. If you wanted to make a timeline, that's the way I understand it. But I'm, I'm no good at trying to do stuff like that. Uh, I'm limited in the math and dating uh, unless I get something which of course the one I got about 717 was a lie or I mean, because I, I actually thought maybe this year, maybe it's going to really happen. Maybe I did hear that from God. Maybe we're, we're going on July 17th or the 16th, and it's the 17th in Australia. And I thought, well, maybe it is. But here we are. It's July, what, 27th. 
still here. Let's keep looking up, though, because every day that passes, our redemption draws closer and closer. It's sometime this year, at least according to a couple different prophets, I've got that message. Okay, um, it's signed, your King Yeshua, your Redeemer, your Messiah, and your future Bridegroom. Events proceed. Scriptures given, Matthew thirteen fifteen. For the hearts of these people have grown dull. Their ears are hard of hearing, and their eyes they have closed. Ephesians 5, verse 6. These are New King James Version. Let no one deceive you with empty words. For because of these things, the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Hebrews four twelve New King James Hold on, Jasper. We're fixing to go outside. Let's see. Does it say Hebrews 4.12? For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit and of joints and marrow. And is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. That's a heavy single, for a single scripture. That's a heavy word. Jude one sixteen. These are grumblers, complainers, walking according to their own lusts, and they mouth great swelling words, flattering people to gain advantage. I'm sure that's talking about those who will be counted amongst the evil, because that's exactly how they are. I, I mean, I complain, and I, I catch myself complaining, and I have to repent. Because we are not supposed to complain. So don't grumble. Don't complain. And don't walk after your own lusts. But consider the needs of others too. We have needs. Consider you got a little extra. Consider the needs of others. That's what he's saying. And uh, with that, I'm going to say I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connections. All over all, all of us, our devices and the internet connects. Okay. Okay, I'm tired. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> See, I, I complain all the time. It's just little things, but still, the closer you get to the Lord, the quicker He <laughs> brings it to your attention. And instead of saying, I'm tired, I should say, Thank you, Lord, for helping me get through that. Help me get it uploaded. And get my dog out. Okay. All right. So, y'all be blessed. And um, thank you for being part of my YouTube family again. I love each and every one of you. And I'll talk to you later.